This entire fight took 40 seconds. But there is a lot of things to unpack here. First off is the Conor McGregor experiment. The experiment was, can I be a gentleman? Can I not have conflict, even if it's manufactured? Can I come in calmly, but still flip the switch when that referee says go? Answer, yes. Conor McGregor maintained that calmness. He never stabbed Cowboy Cerrone in the back. In fact, when he got in the ring, he didn't even do the billionaire strut. When he got close to Donald Cerrone, he did not taunt him. As a matter of fact, he put his fist out in sportsmanship, and they had a touch of the gloves. And this is before uh, the announcements or the referee even pulls them together. Connor stayed a gentleman, but much like Connor said, I am here to compete and I am here to win. Donald Cerrone has been said to be a slow starter. So what do you do if you're Connor McGregor? You come right out and you get the fight started. The one and only punch that Connor McGregor missed tonight was his first one. Connor McGregor, by the numbers, threw a total of 20 strikes. One of them was a head kick, four of them were shoulder shots, the rest all were done with the hands, some in the ground and pound position. Of those 20 strikes, he landed 19. Guys, you must understand how impressive that is. It would be hard for me to state or overstate for you how difficult it is to throw 20 strikes and only have one air ball. The other side of the coin that has to be understood, I'm not convinced Conor fought very well. I'm not. Hear me out on this. Conor McGregor just logically, 460 days out, heaviest he's ever weighed sampling a new weight class that he hasn't been to in a while and in total had only been to twice and it was against the same opponent. A lot against Conor McGregor. Please take into consideration the pressure. I would feel in many ways there was more pressure on Conor tonight than ever before. I would argue for you when he's fighting for world championships, sure you can lose, but you can also, yeah, but it was for a world championship. When you're fighting a guy In a venue that you chose, on a date that you selected, in a weight class under a rule set for a paycheck that was all determined by you. Oh, and there's no title on the line. There's a lot of pressure. You must get it right. Connor comes out and appears to thrive on pressure, not just be able to perform under it. He appears to be able to perform better, but hear me out on this point. If I am correct that 460 days away, is going to constitute a guy being a little hesitant. It's going to constitute, and I'll tell you one thing about ring rust. Ring rust is more a speed issue. You don't see the punches coming at you because now they're coming at you faster than you've seen in 460 days. You don't don't spar like you fight, okay? Then you have to return fire, and you have to find your target. Oh, and he did that 19 out of 20 attempts. For me to explain to you, logically speaking, Connor should have been underperforming tonight, and I think that he did. And he still beat a top 10 welterweight and only needed 40 seconds to do it. Connor largely gave an assessment of himself that is in line with the assessment I'm giving. Connor came out and told Joe Rogan, I don't think I'm there yet. I think I got to tweak a few things. I think to get back to my old self, I need a little bit more. And I'm going to get more. It's Connor season, and I'm coming at you in 2023 or four times. So now the question does beg, if Connor did not fight up to Connor's potential and he still got a top 10 former title contending welterweight and Donald Cerrone out of there in 40 seconds, then just how good is Connor McGregor? When I woke up today, the talk that Connor is going to go out and beat up Masvidal was silly. And it was premature. When I woke up today, the talk that Conor McGregor is next going to challenge Kamaru Usman, oh, and win his title, was premature and it was silly. As I go to bed tonight and as I bring you guys this video, if Conor McGregor was matched up with anybody in the world, including the BMF champion or the undisputed champion, we can no longer dismiss Conor's chances. That has changed. Connor changed it. Connor can go with anybody. And I will remind you tonight, as impressive as he was, he was not at his best.